Today, we're going to create a driveway and a pathway that follows the slope of the topography. All right, let's get started. First off, let's delete what we've got. So here on my site plan, I've got the topography. To kick off, we'll use the spline tool and we'll select from our garage. And I'm just going to, going to draw the driveway just down through roughly where we just had it before. I'll take the spline. Now I'll offset it roughly about six meters, six to 6.2 meters, there we go. I'm going to take this spline and I'm going to drag it over, say 100,000, just so that I can pick it up and drag it across the exact measurement again. Close up the ends of these lines, use the eyedropper tool, select the mesh, hold in spacebar and click in the middle. And that is gonna fill out that driveway automatically. I'll wanna change this so that the material is concrete and then I'll drag this back over, 100,000, enter. I'll delete my lines to here. There we go. What we'll wanna do is check out what height we've got the site mesh set at. So here at the moment, the FFL, finished floor level, is at 12,300. I wanna make our driveway mesh higher than that. I'll click on one of the nodes. In the mesh point height, I'll make sure apply all is selected on. I'm going to make this just so that it's a bit higher than the mesh that we've already got. So let's go 1500. This all makes sense in a second, don't worry. We'll go okay. And then 3D, there we go. So we've got our driveway, but we're not finished. We're not finished yet. What we do from here is we'll select the driveway, right click, connect, solid element operations. From here, we'll make the driveway the target and we'll select the mesh as the operator. We'll go into operation and go intersection and go execute. Cool. So that's just sculpted that driveway down so it lines up with the mesh, but it looks a bit funky. So we'll select the mesh, we'll select it this time as the target, we'll select the driveway, make it the operator, then we'll go subtraction. So now the driveway is the operator, it's taken action on <laughs> the topography, so it's the one that's going to remain. We'll go execute, we're almost there. Let's move our tree out of the way and I'll put our car back on the road. Now. We still want a footpath. So what we can do, we'll go back to our site plan and select the driveway. I'll select the edge. In the pet palette, I'll make sure I've got offset all edges. Then I'll press control just once. And that'll have a little plus just around the pencil. I'll hit tab, I'll hit 1000 and enter. Excellent. All right, let's go back out. It's created a duplicate of that driveway, but we haven't got it cut to the mesh yet. So we'll go through the same thing. We'll set it as the target. We'll set the mesh as the operator and we'll go in a section. We'll go execute and it's done the same thing as what it's done to the driveway before. We'll make it the operator this time. We'll make the site mesh the target and we'll go subtraction. We'll go execute. Now we've got a driveway and a pathway. We want to distinguish these two elements, but so I'll make this a different material. I'll go powder coating and we're almost there, but we want to make the pathway so it's got a bit of an edge. The easiest way to do this is to select on the mesh, right click and convert it into a morph. From here, it'll give us a warning that it's going to have all the original dimensions deleted. That's not a concern for us. We'll go OK. Now, from here, we'll want to bring it up 200 mil. I just selected it. I'll hold in shift, then I'll click tab. I'll make it about 200 mil higher. We'll go enter. And from here, I want to select the pathway as the target. I'll select the driveway as the operator. And then we'll go subtraction with upward extrusion. So the driveway is going to cut through that pathway. So we'll hit execute and look at that. Beautiful. So we've got ourselves a pathway, a driveway, and it all slopes right along with that topography. That's a little bit higher. So let's just bring that down, say 100. There we go. Look at that. And with that, we're done. But if you'd like more Archicad tutorials, you can check out this video over here.